In this video we're going to take a look at integrating with Twilio's SMS service as well as Microsoft Azure for resetting a user's password and sending the password as an SMS message. So to initiate this we need to come into System, Security and KeySafe. We've already defined our Azure Office 365 authentication credentials but we want to come and create and utilize the Twilio SMS service. So we're going to come down to the Twilio option and we're going to give that a title. We'll call that Twilio SMS UK. We then need to define the API key and the API token from our Twilio account. So we'll just go and get those details and add those in. With those defined, we can go ahead and create our key. Now we can go up to our business process where we can utilize a number of the different automation options into our password reset process. So we'll go to our password reset business process and here we can see a number of actions that have been defined. What we'll do initially here though is break that and we're going to do our first integration call. Now on this occasion what we actually need to do initially is automate the creation of a temporary password which can be then issued to the user should they forget theirs which would obviously comply with your company policy around strength, uh, length etc. So under Hornbill iBridge we're going to come in and we're going to have a look at the utilities and we're going to use the password generator and apply that. We're then going to come in and specify the um, the parameters for this in this occasion complexity and strength uh, so we'll choose alphanumeric mixed and we'll uh, request 15 uh, characters in there. Off the back of that we might then say okay well actually sorry apologies what we'll actually do is give that um, result reference a new name so we'll call that generate. If we're using multiple integration calls it's good practice to give each integration call uh, its own name so that when we're using outputs from those parameters so from those calls further in the process we know which ones relate to which. Off the back of this we might have a checkpoint in our process and this might relate to the generation of that particular code so we'll come in here and then say at this point that that temporary password has been generated and then move on to our next uh, automation which in this case will be the resetting uh, of that password. So we're going to come in, form integration bridge again We'll come down to Microsoft, select Azure, Users, and then we'll do use the password reset option. Here we then have the option to choose the account that we want to use, so the credentials that we've already predefined, and then we need to go ahead and specify uh, the mandatory uh, values. So the first and foremost is using um, or the user principal name of the account that we want to reset the password for. Uh, on here because we will have known who the customer is when they called in and we've used a get customer information node means that we can pass in a variable here so going into our flow code inputs we can get the customer's info and we can use the customer ID uh, as their use principal name here we can then also choose to set uh, the option to specify whether the customer needs to me, reset their uh, password immediately when they log in using this temporary password and this will set that to true uh, and their temporary password will be the output from the uh, password generator tool so again we can go ahead and we can get that uh, variable so we'll use our integrate, uh, integration generate and our password out, output parameter and we're going to pass that in so once we've got that the next thing we might want to do is then uh, get that uh, temporary password sent to their mobile that's attributed to their account so again we're going to use another integration call here and again we're going to use Hornbill integration bridge we're going to specify Twilio and we're going to use the send SMS option again that's going to pick up then on the credential to be set in the uh, keep safe uh, and we can here then just define the message that we want to send and we want to include the password in that message so we're going to go in again and pick our variables from our integration calls from the 
integration generate and that password. So we'll inject that into the message. We then need to specify the uh, number this will be sent from. And again, this will be picked up from your Twilio account. So we'll just go in and we'll uh, put that number in. And then, of course, who that message is going to be sent to. So just check the, uh, the format in which these need to be entered. Sometimes they'll uh, indicate they need a plus four four or whatever it may be. But on here, we then want to go and get the customer's uh, mobile number. So again, we're going to use that as a variable by looking up the customer information. And we're going to use their uh, primary phone number and check that in uh, in here. So again, then we might have another um, checkpoint to say that we've now uh, sent that message. So we're going to go ahead in here and we're going to set that to sent via SMS. And just for the purposes of this video, what we'll also do here, which we obviously wouldn't recommend normally, uh, is actually write that, uh, that password to the timeline of this request so we can go ahead and um, uh, demonstrate the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the, the rest of the video. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to choose Entity, Requests, Update Request, Update Timeline, and in the Update Text, we're going to put in the message, so the temporary password, and then using a variable picker, we'll do exactly the same again, which is use the integrate generate option and the password and, and pass that into the timeline. We're then going to go ahead, join these up, uh, and then we're going to save, validate, and publish that process. And use the um, uh, Take the example where a user has forgotten their password. We're going to uh, use the raise new and the customer is going to identify themselves. And it's going to be Joe on this occasion who's got his password. The analyst can see information relating to the phone number and such like where this message will be sent. We can click on next. Uh, we can click under desktop support. And on this occasion, they have a, an option available to them to reset the customer's password via Azure. So we select the option that we want to use and in doing so that's going to raise the request and in the background it's going to go ahead and reset the password for that particular user. We can see that it was logged to generate the temporary password and the temporary password has been sent via SMS. As I mentioned the message will then have been sent to the mobile and we can see here uh, that, that text has been received. The user can of course then go and attempt to log back in using that temporary password. I'm just going to get the password from the timeline and again we obviously wouldn't recommend doing this in practice and if I go to my uh, Azure account for that user and put that password in go to sign in. First thing it's going to do is let me in but it's going to enforce the fact that the user then has to reset their password based on the parameters that we defined um, against the resetting of the password uh, operation. Thanks for watching.